Good morning! Welcome to my channel. My name is Zoe, and today we're doing a glow up! <laughs> it's about time. Um, I've given my lashes, I feel like, enough of a break. They've grown like two centimeters, maybe one centimeter. It's better than nothing. I can tell that they're doing a lot better. So, yeah, I'm doing a lot of glowing up today and tomorrow because we're leaving for Cape Town soon. So today I'm just gonna be doing my lashes, my own hair. Look at this hair, y'all. Look at this hair. I keep these cornrows a little bit too long. So that's what I'm doing. How do I get this bonnet back on now? Hang on. Okay, as I was saying, I feel like I need to pick me up. I feel like I need to just look as good as I do on the inside. I feel like my insides are getting better. So I need to do a glow up right now. And besides that, like we're gonna be in Cape Town over the Christmas holidays with Bay's family. So I need to impress. I feel like people definitely treat you the way that you look um, until of course you show yourself to be a horrible person. But everyone automatically assumes that you're like so nice and like so kind when you look nice. <laughs> Um, this is not the first time I'm meeting base parents anyway, but I think it's really important um, to just continue to make a good impression. Um, I feel like even if after we're married, like to still like make a good impression and like be good to my in-laws because I genuinely love them. They're such good people. So I'm happy on that front. But anyway, okay, let's go do this club. I'm yikes i'm a bit late right now but it's okay i got to relax at least on the bed and she did a great job as usual but i tried to rest because i'm just very go-go at the moment so i tried to relax oh look at these lashes wow i love them i love them no, she always does the things like she just gets me. She knows what I like. She knows what I'm into. I love my lashes. Okay, so I'm here to do my natural hair now. Everything is running so behind schedule. I hope I can be home by six o'clock at least because we have dinner plans at seven. <sighs> I'm not confident, but let's see. Hopefully she can like rush rush quickly and just do this hair. Then I can go do my wig and go home. That's how it's playing out in my mind. We'll see. We'll see. I know it's crowded here. Moving through space and time. Girl, it's been my darkest year. And God don't got answers to questions. I'm inching towards ledges. Cause diamonds, they shimmer. You love it. I'm chaining my back. I literally wish I could just stay with my hair like this. It's summer, it's so bloody hot. This is perfect. Why can't I just be confident like this? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, okay, let's go do the last stretch, which is the wig install. Then I'm free as a bird. <laughs> I am finally back from all my crazy errands. Lashes are popping, install is done. So I'll show you guys how it looks. The truth is where this black line is you know so i'll show you guys but anyway i am getting ready to for dinner we're meeting one of my friends i actually recently saw him well i bumped into him i bumped into him at the mall and i was so shocked i didn't think i would ever see him again so when i did i was just like oh my gosh you're here <laughs> it was really cool to see him because him and i were like really cool friends back in the day um yeah we just kind of like split up for whatever reason i don't even know we just weren't like in contact like that but anyway uh i ran into him at the mall and he is doing so well for himself oh my gosh you guys he is like an eligible bachelor he is now an eligible bachelor when i knew him he didn't have money okay he was broke <laughs> he was broke as hell when i knew him um but no he's a baller so it's very interesting but i think like he was even saying this to me he was like no like 
you always believed in me you always knew that i would be successful i was like i did like literally i saw your hustle and i've like got this thing i can tell when a guy is definitely going to make it like i just know maybe because like i follow my instinct i follow my intuition but like i know when a guy is going to make it so i knew he'd make it and he did he's still making it i mean he's still young he's turning he turned 30. so most of my friends are actually in my age group i don't have like much older or like much younger friends i can't even say like i have a friend that's like 25 or something i don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing uh, maybe i need to like diversify my friend group a little bit but most of my friends are now like 30 plus so yeah we're meeting him for dinner in a bit at 7 30 so i'm just getting ready and i've got like a pimple now what the hell i think when i went on vacation with my family oh yeah i went on vacation with my family <laughs> that's actually why i've been like gone for so long so i was on vacation with my family like all my aunts were there my cousins were there my family was there my sister my mom were there it was so good it was so good i really enjoyed it it was like such a good trip so we went to the kruger i'd never been to the kruger they had never been to the kruger either so we went to the kruger and we saw so many animals so i love animals i didn't say this is my get to know me but i love animals i love them so i was even telling my my bae that hey maybe i should have just been a vet <laughs> and i would have been happier i'm like like uh doing accounting i should have just been like a veterinarian anyway um yeah so we saw so many animals we saw a leopard we saw a giraffe elephants uh obviously the impala were there um but no shame i'm not roll my eyes at the impalas i know just because there's many of them doesn't mean they're like worthless <laughs> so we saw some impalas uh, what else did we see i think i'm missing like one more we did not see rhinos we didn't see lions i couldn't believe we didn't see lions i was like what aren't these like cats everywhere um but yeah nonetheless it was good and then we did a massage as well so we went to the it's not a spa i guess it was a spa we went to the the resort like next to us they had a spa um and we got a swedish ma massage it was not a Swedish massage, okay. It was just a massage because no, there was there was no technique involved. I would I would genuinely say that's like one of my top two worst massages of all time, okay. And I'm very picky. Like I've gone to a lot of spas, I've gone to a lot of good spas, um, but yeah, no, I didn't. Mm -mm. I did not like it, but that's okay. That's fine. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Where are you off to? Looking very nice. She's looking nice for the, for the both of us. <laughs> Where are you off to, guys? Uh, the Short Market Club. Yeah. Yeah, just up here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good night. Enjoy. Cheers. Bye. What's the chance you're calling me out? What's the chance I'm going to hear it coming out of your mouth? What's the chance you're putting me out? What's the chance I'm going to hear? So this one, this is your milk foil okay. um, with a cheesecake mousse. Uh, there's a poached herb. Uh, pretty sure for the picking up on the side. Thank you. Sex was a secret. Now it's an open lie. Remember, I was wrong. I was stoned. You were like, oh. So I'm on the way out. I'm meeting my friends at Mama Samba. It's a birthday lunch. Um, I have so many December friends, so many Capricorn Sagittarius friends, but we started off with some shots, of course. I did not like the little hot sauce thing, 
fact, the tequila slapped. I enjoyed it. And so this was the first time Rafilio was meeting the rest of my friend group. And of course, she did great. <laughs> Love her. Um, so yeah, I just, Rafilio is a new friend, actually. And her and I are like super close. Um, I just love natural friendships. It just kind of happened that our boyfriends were dating and then we're like, yes, I like you. You like me. No, wait, our boyfriends were not dating. Our boyfriends are friends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah. Anyway, our boyfriends are friends. And so that's how we met through our guys. And yeah, we had lots of fun. I mean, we had about two rounds of tequila and I had a date night after this. So I don't know what I'm even doing. Look at my face. I always look so bitter after I have a shot of tequila, but I love tequila. I'm a tequila girl. We had lots of fun. The food was actually really good as well. I just ordered whatever Rifula got because she'd been here before. So she said the pork belly was good, which is that meat over there. And then I got uh, the crackers or whatever that was. But the deco was cute. Oh, that's a for me. You went to bed when no one knows is up. I thought that you would need some help from me But mama, you ain't even help yourself Go out to help a birthday show for me You ain't the bed when no one else is up I thought that you would need some help from me But mama, you... <laughs> Not you doing theatrics for me, honey <laughs> You won't believe where I am. I drove here. I'm still scared. I just, I can't wait to get out of here. I'm ready to leave. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, I'm at Dragon City right now. I drove here. This was my first time ever driving here by myself. And I was, hey, my heart, it be like an the palpitations thing. Anyway, I'm desperate for this thing that I need. So I'm here to buy a, a hot comb. So my hairstylist says she came here and she got a puppet hot comb. So I'm just going to try and find this hot comb. Um, I have a picture. So at least I'll just go like from like wig hair store, shop place and ask like, do you guys have this? Um, and see if I can find it. Hopefully I can. And I've just needed this thing for the longest time. So let me just like, you know, bite the bullet. Like, do it now. But the way I got this thing, it's not like a phone, so I'll pass it. Otherwise, it's like a phone. But anyway, okay, let's just do that. And then I need to go pack. And then we'll go to the airport. And then I'll be in Cape Town. Maybe then when I'm like back home, I'll relax. But now... My shoulders are here because I'm a bit stressed, but let's just do this quickly. Okay, so I'm back from Dragon City. Um, I didn't get what I wanted. I looked for like a good 30 minutes and apparently this thing is sold out. So I'll have to make a plan B because there's no ways. There is no ways. I'm using that other iron. Like, ain't no way. Um, I'm just fixing my install now. I got this glue. So whatever my hairstylist uses, I use. So I'm always like taking photos. I'm always like stealing her game. <laughs> so apparently this is better than got to be too. So I'm going to try it because I need to fix like parts of my install. Like here it's already like lifting just a little bit. Not much, just a bit. Um, yeah, so I'll just do a bit of a spray around and then I'll tie it down with this thing. But yeah, I'm kind of sad that I didn't find it because I really, I was like stressed, hey, I wanted to just be in and out. I was so sure I'd find it. But I think the people there could just see that I was just stressed. Like I was not happy to be there. I was just like, no, <laughs> because as I'm walking past, you know, these like shop attendants and like guys that work there, they're like, it's really full here, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's full. It's full as hell and I hate it. So that was just funny. That comment like made me laugh because I think you could just see like the distress on my face. Um, but anyway, it's fine. You know, um, I'll just be strong. I'll be strong. But I found a place that I'll have to get it from. So I saw it on Ali, Alibaba. So I'll order it probably while we're like in the lounge or something waiting for our flight. Um, but I got so many like cute wig stuff like how to maintain your wig like 
how to keep it cute so let me know if you want me to do a video on that or like a segment on that and i'll plug you i'll plug you sis but anyway yeah in the meantime i just need to fix this hair shower and then we're going to cape town we're off to cape town but i will catch up with you guys at a later stage i'm not very good at multitasking it's not taking enough hair i'm not very good at multitasking so i'm just gonna do this and then we'll like carry on with the rest of the day but i'm excited to be in cape town the weather looks good the weather looks great actually compared to Joburg. so yeah hopefully i can spend a lot of time at the beach and a lot of time with my man's mom maybe we can go shopping maybe like get our feet done all the girly stuff she's into that too so i'm excited looks like I lost my favorite time. see you on the mind I've been seeing great lights But it's such a great lights Let me talk to you in straight lines Keep the space for me Give you what you need I'm here on my knees Baby, please believe So we made it to our hotel and we're checking in at this point and look how pretty this place is. I wish we had it until the 29th but unfortunately not. It's been booked up and I love this painting like it was all textured and it's a three bedroom house so that's his brother's room and then I'm going to our room now. I'm so happy we have a in suite but look at that view. I can't believe it. It's so beautiful and they have like speakers all over the house so it's super pretty and like very sophisticated. So Bay and his dad are like fixing the Netflix for me guys. Get men to fix things for you. They're so solution focused. 8 a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move And I go back to my dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping when It's daylight now and I'm stuck in my bed Daylight now and I'm stuck in my head Cause I've been stressing out all of my home And I should make my way out Oh, okay, so we're back from doing all the shopping Everyone is just so exhausted You can just see it in our faces And in our sad walks That it's been, it's been a long day So I still have to go make my peppermint crisp dessert So that it can sit in time for tomorrow but yeah i'm pretty much gonna end the vlog there with me making this dessert hopefully it turns out good like my mom makes the best ever peppermint peppermint crisp tarts like okay everyone thinks their mom makes the best dessert or the best whatever um but yeah i think it's the best so i'm going to try it hopefully it sets but it's 10 o'clock right now and we're going to have dinner I don't even know if I can bath. My feet are just like throbbing. Like, oh. But thanks for watching. Thanks for coming this far with me. It's been a good day nonetheless. Like I'm really excited to spend time, more time with like my future family. Um, it's been good, it's been good. I'm always happy to hang out with um, his family 
and just have fun. So I don't know if I'll vlog the Christmas. Probably not. I just want to be more present and like enjoy. I've been vlogging all day right now and I'm sure his mom's just like, what is this babe up to? <laughs> what is with the camera? <laughs> okay, so let's make this peppermint crisp tart. So first I use about 500 grams of whipping cream and I whip that till it's a little bit thick. And then after that, I make sure I add the caramel. Make sure you separate them first. So whip the caramel and like make it less tight. Then add it into the cream and wait for it to be like a thicker texture. I whipped quite a bit. And then you do biscuits. Then after that, you put the cream on top. Then you'll make sure that you use this brand. This is the brand of paper mint I actually like. And beat the hell out of these things, okay? It needs to be like as crumbly as possible. Add the chocolate on top, then you do biscuits again, then you do cream, then you do chocolate, and you're done. And uh, Merry Christmas, you know, to you and yours. I hope it goes amazing. And Happy New Year, because I won't be seeing you guys until next year. But mwah, I love you guys so much. Thank you to everyone who watches, everyone who comments, everyone who subscribes. I am, like, eternally grateful. And good night. Bye.